I'm Margie Ramos davis creator of the Fast and Easy Way to QuickBooks Online Pro Advisor Certification, and now the new QBO Gym. So I have been getting lots of questions lately about what is the difference between the free exercises that we provide as part of our free Facebook group locker room and the QBO Gym. So I thought I would just take a few minutes to talk about that. So let's take a look first at the spreadsheet that comes when you join our free Facebook group, the QBO Gym Locker Room. So with the locker room in the welcome post, you get a link to all of these exercises. And you'll notice down at the bottom, uh, we have some that are just super basic, uh, getting started if you don't know anything yet. Um, then we have a tab that these are all from our basic certification course. So you can access all of those there. I am in the process of re-recording all of them. So you have the YouTube link here as well as the uh, exercise link. Then we have the ones that are from our advanced level certification course. I'm gonna skip this QBO gym for just a minute. We'll talk about that in a second. And then uh, Pro Advisor Challenges. These are the ones that uh, Intuit actually provides as part of their training library inside of your QBO uh, A account. Now these Pro Advisor Challenges, they're scattered, they're here and there, just covering different concepts. And they're not really in a step-by-step, -step, here's how you do it kind of a format. So what we're in the process of doing is taking all of these Pro Advisor Challenges and converting them into our Fast and Easy QBO um, you know, special format that we use that is uh, a lot easier to read and follow along with. So that's what those are. And then we have a tab here that says retired miscellaneous and special request. If I scroll to the bottom here, these are the ones that are retired. So that means that they it's information that you previously were tested on in earlier versions of the test, but you're no longer tested on them. And so you don't need to do them as part of the course, but they're still out there as you know, an exercise that you can do to learn QBO hands-on. And then also here um, are the ones that people have requested. So as part of the, the your membership in the locker room, then you can request exercises and we'll put them on our list. You'll notice we have this big list of Margie Create, all these things that people want me to do. And um, so eventually those will get all filled out as well. All right, so those are the free exercises that are available inside the locker room. Now, all of these exercises are, um, they're just individual pieces. They're just learning this one particular concept. The QBO Gym is designed to be a life-like um, opportunity, an opportunity for you to get experience with QBO as if you had a job. Okay, so it's you going in, you go in, you are the bookkeeper for Craig, and here is all of the things that you have to do that day from when you first get in until when you are finished for the day. So it is lifelike scenarios, just like having a job. So before I show you what, uh, you know, what it looks like inside the gym, let's just talk for a minute about what people are saying who have already been in there. So here's a note from Nicole, who says, it's so helpful to really walk through actual real life scenarios. Even though we all have access to the sample company, it's only really helpful when you are actually tackling real issues, which is exactly what you give us throughout the workout. Really enjoyed it and felt good about myself after finishing. Then Stacy said, this is just awesome. I don't have any clients and was gravely missing how it all tied together in real life examples. You have made me more confident. Christy said, I could practice using QBO over and over and it still not makes sense. The real life scenarios and situations are what I need to understand the process. And then finally, Crystal said, I have done several other trainings and none have been so comprehensive. It is so much like really doing the work for a client. So let's take a look at how we actually accomplish that in the QBO gym. So here we are inside the QBO gym. You'll notice that we have it separated out by months. So this right here is the March 20, is March 2023. 
Below that is February 2023. Uh, we just started in February, so that's our oldest month, and this is our newest month, but April is just around the corner. So um, depending on when you're watching this, you may see actually April in here as well. And each one of these we call an issue because it's similar to like having a magazine subscription. And each issue consists of four sections, warm-ups, cardio, strength training, and cool down. The warm-ups are all about what you do when you very first walk in to start on, uh, to start working on Craig's books. Then the cardio is the tasks that he may have you do, like sending out invoices um, and, uh, and, and, uh, and calculating expenses or recording expenses. Then we have um, strength training, and strength training is always one topic that is we that we take a deep dive in you learning how to do. For example, in strength train in uh, in the March issue, um, uh, Craig was doing some work for a wedding planner, and he had two uh, weddings that he had to prepare the landscaping for. And so he we go into detail about what happened on each of these projects and how you have to track the income and expenses associated with each. And then finally in the cool down, this is where you're going to reconcile the accounts, run reports, and then you always have a new thing that you have to learn, a new report or a new functionality that you're gonna learn in the cool down. So for each of these um, sections, if I click on warm ups, it starts with a little animated vi video, which I will show you right now. First thing you do when you sit down to work on Craig's account is check what money has come in. Craig has decided to offer $50 gift cards and sold three of them to Rego Travel Agency. Already, one of Rego's customers, Oliver Weiss, used one to purchase some pest control services. Craig also received three checks for outstanding invoices, which he tells you he has already deposited using his bank's mobile app. He says he also finally deposited the checks that came in a while ago that you've been bugging him about. Next, Craig tells you that he rented a backhoe from Ellis Equipment Rental for one of his jobs. It was $1,000 for the day. Finally, you'll want to process the bank feeds to see what has come into and out of the bank. All right, so once you have watched the little animated video, then there's going to be a little three question quiz. The three question quiz is just to see, you know, how much do you know at this point? You're not expected to know the correct answers. What kind of account will you use to keep track of Craig's gift cards? I'll give you the hint, the answer is liability. So we're gonna click liability. Then we go to the next question, what type of transaction? could you use to record Oliver Weiss's purchase of the pest control services? I'm gonna get this one wrong and say that it's a bill. And then uh, the third question, in which account will you find the checks that came in previously, the ones that you've been bugging Craig to deposit? And the answer to that is undeposited funds. So once you've answered the three questions, and this is again, just to check yourself, you are gonna submit them to us so that we have a record of your work. And then once you have done that, you're gonna click this little button to go back and see what the correct answer is for each of the things. So it was a liability. It tells you why it's a liability account. Then you're gonna go in, here's the one I got wrong. And so you're gonna see, oh, that was the wrong answer. This is the correct answer and here's why. Okay, so it tells you all of that information. So that's just a little quiz to tell, to you know, so that you can get familiar with the concepts that we're covering this month. Then after that, you're gonna go in and you are going to click each of these to actually open up the exercises. Now, some of the exercises in this example, um, for this, this one right here, uh, it says for this exercise, you'll need the checks that Craig left for you. Click the link under the animated video above to download them. Okay, so I'm gonna go up here. Here's the checks. And when I click that, it's gonna open up and I'm going to have uh, these checks. There are three checks here that I need to process. They've already been deposited, but I need to record the payment against each of the different, uh, each of the different customers. I'm gonna search for them in different ways and I'm gonna learn how to actually do this. 
Okay, so, um, and then the, so once I have downloaded that, then I'm gonna click this link right here to, uh, to actually do the exercise. And it's gonna open this up right here, and it's gonna guide me step by step. Here's a reminder of the scenario, and it's gonna show me how to, uh, how to handle each of the three checks. So here's the, about the check that we got from Gita. And then it's gonna take me step by step. And you'll notice that there are instructions along the way, um, all along that say how you would actually handle this in a scenario, uh, you know, in a real life scenario. Um, some of them have issues, okay? So here's one. There were no open invoices for this person. So what are you gonna do about that? In some cases, you have to actually go back and ask Craig uh, for clarification on, on something. Maybe he, we, recently we had a, uh, an exercise where he left you a note that he wanted you to send an invoice to somebody, but it wasn't clear who the invoice was for. And so you had to go back and ask him who the invoice was for, and then you could go in and process that invoice. Okay, once you have done the little exercise, you're gonna click this uh, little button. You're gonna get a fun little point that everything is gamified. So you're gonna get little points and a little ka-ching. And, um, and then once you're, gonna, you're done, you're gonna get a big celebration. So as you can see, that is quite a bit different than just doing the individual exercises that are available for free. Now, when you are a member of the locker room, again, that's our free Facebook Facebook group. Link is below. When you're a member of the free lo of the of the locker room, you can uh, access this uh, this spreadsheet with all of the exercises, and we also have the a tab down here for the QBO gym. Now, you do have to be a member of the gym, and that's a paid monthly subscription in order to access the exercises themselves. But here you can look at uh, all of the different scenarios that we are including in each month. So if there is something that you need to, you need to know, then uh, so maybe just recently we had one handling gift cards. So how, how do you handle gift cards? We had one that was uh, a PayPal sale. How do you enter a, a a payment from PayPal and how do you handle the fee that PayPal charges, okay? So um, this will tell you what the uh, what is inside each issue of the gym so that you know. If you are a member of the gym, you get a similar but different work uh, spreadsheet. So I'm gonna go to all workouts here and I'm gonna click click here to see all exercises and scenarios and then you can see you have the same information, but it also includes the link here to the actual exercise. So if you ever need to go back, maybe, so the PayPal sale, that was the February issue, but maybe now it's June and uh, it actually is happening to you. And so you need to remember how actually to do that. You can then go back to the spreadsheet and say, oh, that was the in the February issue. And so I'm gonna be able to just click this exercise. And if it has a download like those checks, then you'll know where to find where to find that in the QBO gym. So as you can see, there's quite a bit of difference between the free exercises that you get in the locker room and the exercises that you get for a monthly subscription to the gym, uh, which is uh, available, like I said, as a uh, monthly subscription. And finally, just to wrap up with one more testimonial from our student, Terry, who said, this was an amazing class, really got my heart rate up. I love going to the gym. So if you wanna try us out, then click the link below, click the link on the exercise, comment if you have any questions. I can't wait to hear your success story.